All right, what's up guys? Um, real quick, I'm gonna show you how to take apart your hoverboard. Well, not only take apart your hoverboard, how to take it apart and um, do some work on the wheel. Now, I got this off of Amazon for about 350 bucks um, from some vendor, and it was really low quality. Like, this, the wheel had been making a really weird squeaking sound, and I'll post that video up. Or I might include that in this video, but it was making just a really annoying sound and I just couldn't stand it. So I emailed him, tried to get a replacement. Of course, I didn't get a response or a good response. So I just took it apart myself and fixed it. Now, right now it's fixed. That's why you can't hear it. Um, but I just want to show you how to take it apart. So first things first, I mean, obviously you want to take off all these screws right here. Be careful when taking this off because you've got to unplug all these connectors you've got three of them on this side uh, that the wheel that I'm working on is at um, and then come on all right here we go we got a blooper moment right here can't get this out okay here we go. so that's out the way now you want to take this piece off right here okay Pretty sure you can see that. So there is uh, four screws holding them on. They're non-magnetic. All right, got my four screws right there. And now this just comes apart. You can lay that to the side. So now you've got these four uh, screws right here. They're Allen. You need an Allen wrench to get them out. That's what's holding the axle for the wheel on. So I have one of these right here. And just want to go ahead and take that off. Okay. Hello. All right, cool. So that comes off, and this little plate comes off too. So guess what? your wheel just comes out. So, um, I do recommend you unplug, you know, all these connectors and just get the wheel separately apart. But just cause of time, I'm not gonna do that right now. So now I have my wheel. And if you notice, the wheel has these um, Phillip head screw, uh, screws. So I wanna go ahead and take those off. So there's six screws there. If you have a power tool, I highly recommend it. It makes the job a lot faster. So this is the tough part. You want to be careful here because this wheel has your motor inside of it. So what I do that helps me is you grab two flathead um, uh, screwdrivers or whatever. Start on one side. Just kind of work it in there. Start on one side. Work that up. And then start on the other side and also work that up and boom should pop right out if it doesn't just kind of work it a little bit and you should be able to get it to pop out before doing that there is a little rubber gasket that goes here you could use something like a blade to get that out and it slides right out so once you get this up as you can see here's your motor I don't know what's going on in here but I just know this is the motor and this is what basically operates your hoverboard. Um, you've got the same thing on the other side. It looks identical to this. Um, what I did to fix my squeaking problem, and if any of you have this problem, you can do the same. WD-40. Um, spray some WD-40 around the outer ring here where you've got these metal-to-metal -metal contacts. Because this right here spins around, if you can see that. That spins around. And for some reason, mine was, I don't know, dry or whatever. I used some WD-40, and I later on used some oil as well. Just some regular oil um, to kind of lubricate that up. And that fixed the problem. Um, so, yeah, guys, this is it. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other videos like this online, but please feel free to uh, like, comment, and share um, below there. And, uh, yeah.
basically putting this thing back together is just reverse and I'm pretty sure you should be able to handle that so thank you